Welcome, Richard. Nice house you got here, kiddo. Thank you for coming, because I'm really an outdoor person, <laughs> and I need your help. Well, it's nice to work for friends and family once in a while, too. Oh, well, thank you. So here is my fridge. All right, good. So I stopped you when I saw that kit you had in the workshop, so got to protect you from yourself. Thank you. I need that help. <laughs> so in that kit was this valve right here. And what, there's a lot to love about it, but there's a lot that I don't like at all, and that is it's called a saddle valve. Mm -hmm has a bracket on both sides, a little rubber gasket right here. And what happens is, you put it on here, nice and easy for the homeowner, all you need is a screwdriver, right? Except, now let me pierce it, watch this. So you're actually gonna puncture. Right, it's a sharp, sharp point, mm -hmm. and it goes down. You should barely be able to see it just inside the pipe. Do you see it? Oh yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so you think that's great, except this valve, this bracket is not really made out of brass or copper. It's actually just metal, regular metal that's coated. Mm -hmm. So that means if it ever rusted or let go or failed, all of a sudden you have full city water pressure. It's going to leak all over the place. That's so, why everyone has problems. Right. These can okay. So a plumber can't use this legally, in the, at least in this state, mm -hmm. because they, they just a big insurance claim waiting to happen. So, what we want to do is solder it properly and make a nice tight connection. Okay. First thing we have to do is find water. So I see a sink here. Sink's there. But over the, there is, un uh, this is all finished basement over there. All right. And I know there's utility under here. Under here. Yes. All right. So let's pull this out carefully. Okay. I'm going to scratch the floor with the owner watching. <laughs> <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> all right. So, Jen, just pass me that drill, will you? It has a little feeler bit on it. There you go. So you got a little void space right here. So let's just probe down and see what we, where it shows up. Let's see where that is. Let's okay. take a peek. All right, so we're down underneath that refrigerator. It sits right up here. Okay. And you can see here's the hot and the cold pipes right here that go over to the kitchen sink, and we're going to tie into here. Mm -hmm. But I need to establish where on this plane I can drill down for that supply. So I did a couple of feeler bits, and of course the first one went right into this joist, the joist right behind this. Mm -hmm. So I did another one, and that at least establishes which bay we can now drill into. This We're going to drill another hole farther back, and then we'll fish the new line right to here. Okay. All right, so we have our hole. Now we're going to think about what kind of tubing we're going to run. Mm -hmm. A couple of choices. This is a polyethylene, this is a copper. It has to be flexible tubing because we have to be able to move that refrigerator in and out and still make the connection. Okay. So I think I'm going to use the copper. I like its durability. Okay, but when you send that down, does it, is it going to kink? We've got to be careful. Make sure we don't kink it. Okay. So we'll work together. Okay, Jen, just guide it gently towards you. I've got it. How much you need? How much more? I need another foot, foot and a half. Keep coming, keep coming. Don't kick it. I won't, I promise. A little bit more. So nicely done. You fished it perfectly. Thank you. All right, so now this is our quarter inch tubing. Okay. This is three quarter cold line right here that goes to the kitchen. So now we've got to shut off the water, drain it down, and solder in a fitting. Okay. So what fitting do you think we're going to use? T. <laughs> Perfect. So here's our T, that's three quarter. The branch is half inch, and this is a shut off valve with the adapter right here to be able to make up that quarter inch connection. Okay. <laughs> Now to make this connection, it's actually called a compression connection. It has two parts. One is a nut. The nut slides on right here. And the next is a brass ring. You can see it right here called a ferrule. If it's right over the top, then the nut will come down on top of it. And as I tighten up that nut, I can actually compress that nut, that ferrule so much that it'll make an absolutely watertight seal. Okay, now we make the connection upstairs and we can turn the water back on. All right. 
Now we can connect the fridge. I want to leave enough slack on that tubing so you can move the refrigerator in and out if need be. Okay. Then we just turn the water back on and we're good to go. Those wheels are nice. Oh my gosh. All right, looks like it belongs here. Let's test it out. All right, so here is your glass. Water's Thank on. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Push it in. And the ice oh is. Oh my huh? God. Are you excited, girl? <laughs> this is my dream. Look at that flow. All right. This is awesome. Don't drink the first water. Go through a, a bunch of the, discard the first three Flush buckets of ice. Yeah, but you got clean water. You know, this is the longest I've ever been inside, ever. Well, we are working on your inside skills. We'll see you around the studio. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.